right, I want you guys to let me know something. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm Jeff. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I want you guys to let me know something. Do you prefer the video blogs, vlogging, whatever it's whatever it's really called? Like, I'm just going to call it a video blog. Um, it's easier for me to remember for some reason. Do you prefer video blogs, or do you prefer actually typing out on the computer and reading the blogs, or do you like both? Uh, hit me up, you know, either here on YouTube or hit me up on my Facebook page or my website. Actually, you can't hit me up on my website, uh, but just you know, on my Facebook fan page or my Facebook page, and then uh, or YouTube. Let me know what you guys think uh, because I'm really kind of liking these video blogs, and I, I want to get a better uh, um, uh, camera. But I'm not sure exactly how people are reacting, if you like them, if you don't. Um, I think I'm going to get a better camera regardless anyway, because as you can probably see, I'm, I look a little red. Things kind of look a little distorted a little bit. Uh, that noise in the background, you know, still, that's my computer. I'm still kind of working on that to switch it from over here on this side to over here on this side to where you're not going to have the fans, you know, blowing right at me pretty much, where you're going to hear all that, uh, all that loud jet engine noise. So, uh, but anyway, okay. Well, I have got a story for you. I shipped my, my my two banners, and you know most of you who have seen you know my my table setups at the shows, I have either one or two tables. You know that I have you know at least one banner, and I have like a big huge blackboard that I put prints on. Well, at the Long Beach show, I had two tables, and I had my two banners. Well, both of my banners I shipped out last week Monday, and guess what? I only received one. No, UPS didn't lose it. What they did, actually nobody knows. Not even UPS knows what the hell happened. They don't. Ugh useless um it went from long beach the next day it went to portland okay good we're on a good track portland it stayed there for five days nobody could tell me why oh, of course not no one could tell me why they're just like oh well i don't know if it if it was lost it would have been scanned and we can tell you where it's at i kid you not that is exactly what the lady said if it was lost uh this makes no sense if it was lost it would be scanned and we can tell you where it's at. Well, wouldn't that mean that it's not lost and you know where it's at? I don't know. I mean, call me crazy. I don't know. I mean, something. I, yeah, anyway. So, anyway, from there, it went to Chicago. Great. That's like right here. You know, I'll get it the next day, this, you know, today or whatever. Nope. Chicago to Missouri, Missouri to my house. Now, for those of you who don't know, I live in Wisconsin, you know, just a little bit past the Illinois-Wisconsin border. So, it's in Chicago, goes down to Missouri, and then comes back up to my house. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally stumped by this. I, I just, I have no idea. UPS, like I said, they have no idea what the hell happened. <sighs> my chi is good. I got good chi today. That sounds naughty. But I have good sheet today. Anyway, all right, guys, how you doing? Uh, just a couple real quick things I want to kind of uh, uh, let you guys know. One, I'm going to be, uh, this weekend, I'm going to be at the Austin Comic Con uh, for Wizard World. Very excited about this show. I've heard a lot of great things about Austin in general. So I'm really looking forward to going out there and uh, just kind of getting my feet wet. Not literally, but, you know, getting my feet wet and kind of checking out Austin. And, of course, the show, which starts on Friday, um, 11, 11, 11, and goes until the 13th. Uh, which is, of course is Sunday. Uh, so I fly into Dallas, then I drive down to Austin, then I drive back to Dallas, and then I fly from Dallas. Uh, I'm doing that on purpose because I'm uh, keeping a buddy of mine. I'm keeping him company, and uh, it's just it's it was actually a lot cheaper doing it that way. I know it doesn't sound cheaper, but it really actually is. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at table in Artist Alley, tables 2912 and 2914. I got a lot of cool stuff. The John Carpenter Asylum preview. Um, I got a few of those left. I got a few of the Long Beach Comic Con exclusives of the John Carpenter Asylum book. Plus, I have a special object uh, that goes along with the John Carpenter book. Uh, we actually put it on a thumb drive, but that thumb drive is actually attached to something which actually gets tied into the book. Uh, there's very few of these left uh, that I have anyway. I can always probably get more, but stop by the booths. Check them out. It, it, it's it's just something that you, you would never see at a comic book show. Let, let's just put it that way. Yeah, that's Long Beach. Let me tell you, they really, really, they were just really cool at Long Beach. You know, people loved them. They had a great time with them. You know, no one was looking too into it. Um, 
yeah, it's just it was just, it was just really cool. Uh, but I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have a, a lot of the books, pretty much almost all of the books that I have ever worked on, uh, even the covers, the interiors, whatever. And even my very first book, Foxwood Falcons, I'm gonna have there as well too. I'm gonna have for a discounted rate, um, signed by the whole creative team, including myself, of course. And um, a lot of comics from, uh, that I worked on were Grim Fairy Tales and Charm, Tales from Wonderland, Tales from Neverland. Uh, I mean, just a lot of Zinescope books, and a few of those are going to be either a dollar or two dollars. And I do have a couple three dollar ones in there, like and uh, uh, the newer ones I'm going to have as well too that I worked on. So definitely, like I said, stop on by, check them out. I have a ton of prints, as uh, most of you know me. You know, I have a ton of prints, fifteen dollars each, or any two for twenty, which is fantastic. And I take credit card. And I actually do have little shopping bags, <laughs> little, little thank you bags, really. Uh, I just saw that I had some here, so I'm going to bring them with me just so I can unload them and get rid of them. Plus, yes, there's, mo there's more. Yes, I actually, I'm also doing, what, like I've been kind of doing this whole entire year. Um, I'm kind of running out of stuff, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it next year. We'll see. But the first 15 people that buy anything from the table, it can be the Dollar Comic, it can be the John Carpenter book, it, it can be anything that I have. A print, doesn't matter. Oh, plus I have $5. I have a couple of $5 prints. It can be anything that I have. You will get a free comic book that I worked on. Uh, and of course, it'll come signed and it'll also come um, bagged as well. I believe I have bags. If not, I do apologize, but I do have the thank you bags. At least you can put them in. Um, so, tons of awesomeness at the table. I'm starting to ramble here a little bit about it. So just stop on by. You have to stop by now just to say hi to me at least. And, um, yeah, okay. Plus, next year, and this was just uh, set in stone as of yesterday, I am working... Bum, 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 bum. I am actually working on my very first creator-owned project with a buddy of mine, Joe Romano. Very, very cool. I'm so glad I get to work with this guy. I know a lot of people don't know... You don't know exactly who he is uh, yet. But you will, trust me. Um, it's really, really cool what we're, gonna, what we're working on. It's going to be a little ash can first, and we're going to have an actual ash can, and then we're going to work uh, and do the f whole first issue. So um, keep checking out my Facebook fan page, J Balky's Colors. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys uh, at uh, any of the upcoming shows. Oh, before I let you go, hold on, hold on. Before I let you go, I'm actually going to be posting, hopefully tonight, or this week, hopefully I will be posting my uh, 2012 schedule uh, for those shows next year. So you can definitely check those out and check out what shows I'm going to be at in your area, and you can uh, stop on by and say hi. Okay? That's all. That's all I wanted to say. All right, guys. Have a good night. I will see you later. This is my last video vlog until next week uh, when I come back from the Austin show. And uh, take it easy, guys.